Suleiman Yang. Uh, he, Professor Yang teaches at Howard University's African Studies Department with a focus on Islam. He's written extensively about Islam in America and Africa, and I'm sure he'll help those of us who are non-Muslim understand Islam a little better and uh, perhaps clear up some misconceptions that, that many people have about that world religion. Thank you, Emily. Uh, I think this time I'm going to take anyone's own university's training to look at me, even if you see me. That's why I try. I notice that when our colleagues are speaking, uh, you, you will understand. First of all, before I go, I'll thank the young lady, Elizabeth, for setting the stage. And of course, I uh, thank our co community leader, Sahib Thomas. Very much impressed by my colleague here because he's not only a state official but he's also a lawyer. If you live in this city, what I always tell people, you have to know the 12 tribes of the city. Now, when we have a crisis like the one we're having, in the next eight minutes, what I'm going to try to do, in the next eight minutes, I will try to prove, I'll try to deal with a number of these issues as quickly as possible. First of all, when we came here and we are talking about Creeping Syria, a real threat or a trump up scare tactic. It's a very good title for this event. All of you are here, you are educated. Now, follow me on my mental highway. I will just give you an AOV right. Please. If you look at this concept here, whether Syria is a real threat, you had a lawyer's opinion. People who make this statements. Unfortunately, and I challenge most of these people, I want to confront most of these people one by one intellectually. Based on what you had here, if you have any knowledge of American history, you go back to Jefferson and others. I went to UVA. I studied Jefferson. I know what he wrote about the American experience. And when he struggled so hard in Virginia here, at a very critical moment in the history of this country, to get the statue of religious freedom. The first time they, passed, they tried in, in, in Virginia, he failed. Later on, with the effort of people like Madison and others, we have now the First Amendment. And what he told you is the long story of the struggle in this country. 93% of the Americans were English, not British, they were English. So when he talked to you about America today, what you have to recognize as Americans is that American society has been changing from the 93 English speaking Englishmen to the diversity today. If you're an alien being from another planet, you come to this country today, you are going to see an America very different from the America of the 13 colonies. One thing the alien being would be attracted to come to America you have 6 billion human beings on the planet. You have 308 million people in America. What that alien being is going to observe, that they will come to America to do research on humans. If human beings are making any progress towards modernity, and they are making better understanding about human relationships across racial diversity, languages, cultures, then America is the best target for you to visit, best place to come because you have the UN and you have Washington DC. Those aliens, they will find the best representation of human beings today in two locations only, not in China, not in India, not in Africa, not in South America, but here and in New York, these two. I was speaking to a group of Catholics at Georgetown and one of the English Catholics came to me, oh, you like Americans too much? I said, lady, do you have the numbers in England? She backed up. <laughs> the reality of what I'm hearing is, and I didn't point to tell you, when we talk about creeping Syria, real threat or trunk of charge, the problem we're dealing with in America right now is state and society. At the societal level, we still have a lot of our people who still have prejudices against different groups. And those prejudices are real for them. So they would like to hide behind the government of the state. And that is where he comes in. When they hide behind the government of the state, most of the people, if you know the history of this country, from the founding fathers to now, 
and you read the narratives of all the groups, go and read a number of textbooks if you haven't done that before. There's a book published by Simon and Sister in two volumes called American Immigrant Cultures, Builders of a Nation. It tells you the story of all groups that are here alphabetically, from Afghanistan, from Albania. You can name them, all the A's. Burma, Bangladesh, all China, all the way to Zimbabwe. They're all here in America. All those groups are here today. They're in this city. That is why we have to be very serious. When they talk about creeping Syria, a real threat or a trump of charge, it's a trump of charge. The lawyers will tell you, the lawyers who are educated, they went to law school in America. They went to Yale, Harvard, and everywhere else, but in everywhere. They are lawyers. They're not going to buy that. This is how they cannot tell me any this country. You have lawyers. Americans are not black people. We have lawyers here. How are you going to impose this area? But and I told you, it's a debate between state and society. In the society, we have people who are prejudiced. From the founding fathers, once upon a time, Catholics were very much opposed in this country. What, how were Catholics opposed? Many Catholic Americans are unaware of this, because Catholics have made progress in this country since John Kennedy became president. They forgot this story. If you know the Catholic scholars, you can read them. Read J. Dolan, read Father Condi Cordy Murray, and many other the Catholic writers. You will see how the Catholics made progress in this country. In American society, they were stereotyped, just like African Americans were stereotyped before they became full members of American society. The Muslims are the new scarecrow. They're the new fall guys. And this is because of the state. It's not the law. The laws in America, we have lawyers here. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> I don't think the law. People will use societal hostilities against each other. They did that with the Catholics. They did that with the Jews. They did that with the blacks. If you know the history of this country, in the United States, when they don't like Catholics, they have the three R's. Wrong, wrong, and right. That's how they know the Catholics in this country. Wrong because they thought they were fifth columns of the Pope. Now, this is what is happening. So you are educated Americans. We want America to be the representative of humankind. If the alien beings are looking for Americans, whether they are eligible to lead human beings, they have to learn to be better. We have done it. You want from the founding fathers, 93% Englishmen. Today, most Americans who are white, you don't say we are English, you may be Russian, you may be German, you may be Romanian, you may be Bosnian, you have American, you are American citizen. So if you look at the diversity of Americans, they come from all over the planet. So when they try to use this, it is a maneuvering at the societal level. And we should allow the societal violence to district, to affect the body politic of American society. And this is where I will stop. Thank you very much.